and welcome back to the channel. Um, so this is just a quick Motherhood Monday, just kind of talking about what we've been focusing on as a family and what seems to be working the best for our family. Um, I've transitioned to becoming a stay-at-home mom and I never realized how important not watching TV was. Um, and I never really had this issue until being a stay-at-home mom 24-7. It's a very different world. <laughs> Um, so I know that nutrition coaching is definitely my focus and I love that. Um, but I am here for the motherhood part too, because that's, what's important to me. Um, the nutrition is so important the meal prep, getting it all prepped and ready, but also just like knowing what's best for your family. Um, that the dirt cure was our first book that we read, um, or that I read for nutrition and kids. It's a really great book. Um, I'll pop it below because it's like one of my favorite things in the entire world, but it's aggressive. So take it in small doses. Don't read it very fast. Um, so I just had a friend over and we were talking and we were discussing sugar and things that are affecting our kids and overstimulation and all these things. Um, and I just read Simplicity Parenting too. So I'm going to tie like three different things in here. I'm going to tie nutrition, um, overstimulation, and then um, allowing your kids to have some, some downtime um, and independence. So independent play is super important. Um, I, I was a teacher for seven years. I taught those skills for preschoolers. Independent play and asking for help is like two of the most important goals for a preschooler or for a young child. If you if they can't do those two things, it is a hard, hard life. Um, so asking for help, help, help. Um, so signing and or using your words, those are the keys to getting where you need to get. Um, Yes, in life you can be super independent and do everything yourself, but if you can't ask for help, even as adults, which you know we can, it's a mom thing, you know? <laughs> um, asking for help is a really, really important skill. So working on the independent play. Um, for the time that JJ was young, he took five minutes, and I apologize for the dog meals, um, he took, I would take five minutes and let him play for himself and walk away. Um, I did that very slowly as he began to play. Um, and now to this point, he is able to play independently. Um, and I've actually taken away TV for the most part during the day. Um, he's, for this entire week, he's watched three episodes of Bluey. <laughs> that is it. Um, and two of those were at the gym just to keep him entertained so I could finish my workout with my husband. So um, <laughs> it's crazy. Like it got so convenient to turn the TV on, right? Like just turn it on, they're loving it. But the overstimulation that I could see in his eyes at the end of the day was just like, whoa. Um, now we do watch TV as a family at night. Um, we still watch our TV shows. We don't watch very many kids shows anymore. Yes, some adult shows aren't great for kids either, but you know what, you gotta, you gotta pick battles. Um, so we'll do watch like maybe one YouTube video in the morning if we're all sitting together as a family um, and then in the evening but we've also tried to get in the pool in the afternoon to go to the gym in the afternoon make dinner together in the afternoon sit down for dinner um, and eat dinner as a family and that has been extremely important to us me and JJ keep ourselves busy during the week Mondays we have music class and then we went to a creek this week we had a picnic um, if you ever want to see stuff that we're doing on a daily basis follow me on Instagram it'll be in the description below um, and then after we did that we came home and rested and took a nap um, and I got some work done and then Tuesday was clean house day so I like to plan days where we're out and then a day where we're home and then a day where we're out and then a day when we're home and if we do a lot then maybe two days home because in simplicity parenting i love the way that he words it and i don't know exactly what chapter it is but he words it like your kids need that soul vacation that soul time and not having the tv on i've noticed him go to his toys more often um he is wanting to draw he's wanting to play play-doh he's wanting to help cook and it's amazing it's amazing now tv is helpful sometimes and i'm not saying it's not and to be honest i didn't know what to do without tv because i was raised on tv and I love TV, it's a problem. So I have had to work on myself too. So <laughs> not that it's all about us, but there are times when you have to work on yourself as a person and turning off the TV is hard for me. It's not easy in any way, shape or form. So that has been hard. Um, so we've been working on that, working on turning off the TV. Um, we still watch TV as family, watch a little bit at the end of the night. That's really it. Yeah. So 
TV overstimulation, that's number one. Number two is the switching out the toys, which there's a video right before this um, on Monday, last Monday that I posted, and that's great about switching toys out and why is important. So street, please watch that. Um, and I'll link that in the description below too. That's really helpful. It's very long winded, so I do apologize, but it's a very helpful um, thought process. So that's kind of how I talk is kind of like giving you my thought process at the same time. And the other thing is the food. Um, so all that processed sugar, all that nice added sugar that they put in everything that makes you love the food, that is so bad for your kids and you're gonna see it. So pay attention if you give them Red 40, if you get them extra dyes, if you're giving them too much actual, like just plain sugar. Um, we still use cane sugar. I still cook with sugar, a little bit of brown sugar here and there. Um, our, our cookies are made with sugar, but it's all sugar from home. Um, it's also honey. So my, my son loves honey. Um, he has honey in the mornings when I make my coffee. I'm, I do oat milk and honey and mix it with my frother and then throw it in my coffee. And he usually gets a scoop of honey. I try to watch the added sugar. I know that it's not perfect. I know that it's not the easiest thing to do. But if you can keep your kid to under 25 grams of added sugar and yourself, your probiotic, your gut, the probiotics and prebiotics in your body will thank you. I promise. Um, so that's the other thing. It's just focusing on those things. So what you can control and what in in what season of your life that you can control things um i'm not gonna lie the tv thing was really hard and i wouldn't have done the tv thing if i was going back to work probably yeah maybe not i don't know i can't tell you that actually but um the tv thing's hard it's really really hard and the overstimulation is hard because you want your kids to have fun and be busy and enjoy it and but they also have to learn how to be bored and play independently and take a breath and work toward those things. But they also have to be social. So it's like you're in this weird pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. And like, what do you do? Um, I actually Googled a few times what to do without TV. And that was really difficult for me. I <laughs> didn't know how to start. Um, so I just turned the TV off. Does he scream at me sometimes? Is he upset about the TV being off? Definitely. Um, did he love Puppy Dog Pals and, pop, and Puppy Dog Pals and Pup Destruction and all the Disney movies? Yeah, but we're not giving it up completely. Just right now in this season of life, we can't be that stimulated all the time. Um, and that goes with everything. So that overstimulation piece goes with that added sugar and those additives and things that you just don't really love in your body. Does my kid still eat goldfish? Yes, I am still gonna have him goldfish. Is he still gonna have a snack that's different at my in-laws or on the way to a trip? Sure, but am I gonna watch it and try my best? Yes. Do I pack our lunch when we go places? Yes. Do we try not to eat out as much? Yes. Do we, are we perfect? No. So like, that's the other thing. You gotta give yourself that grace that ebb and flow. What season of life are you in? Let me know. I would love to know. So just a reminder, back what, back what I was saying is limiting that TV, limiting those things, and then the focus on the added sugars. And then what was the other one? <laughs> My brain is gone. Um, Oh, and then season, seasons. So like, and those, those, those slow down days. So really, really busy, slow down, really, really busy, slow down and just watch your kid, watch them play, watch what they're doing. It goes along with the toy video that's in the description below and that's great. And then just watching them and watching their body language and seeing what they need. You'll know it's there. All right, my friends, I do apologize for some pauses. My brain is all jumbled um thank you so much for watching today i know this was a quick one but i think sometimes it just helps to have a quick little snippet if you need help with meal prep things along those lines please don't hesitate to ask for que ask questions um i would love to help you i'm here i'm a nutrition coach and a mama and a and a wife <laughs> and it's not an easy thing to do so if you need help with those things i'm here um just click my stand store below and there's um a few different options so 
I hope to see you. If you need anything, I'm here. Um, and follow on Insta, like, subscribe, do all the things. Thanks so much.